Welcome back. In this session, we're going to focus on an essential aspect of the tender response process, the mobilization plan. We'll explore what goes into creating an effective plan, the challenges teams often face, and how to create a solid mobilization plan that can set you apart in a winning tender. Let's get started. Now, why is the mobilization plan so important? Well, first, it helps teams to identify and resolve gaps really early. Whether it's missing resources or incomplete workflows, the plan ensures that everything is addressed before the project starts. And secondly, it reduces the delay at that starting point because planning and testing ahead of time, the team is ready to get started and it's able to move smoothly without wasting time fixing issues as they get started. And the third key point is that the mobilization plan builds trust with the appointing party. A detailed plan shows that your team is not only prepared, but also reliable and professional. It gives the appointing party confidence that the project is in good hands. Yep, absolutely. Akosh, what do you see as some of the challenges that we need to overcome? I've seen this happen with clients who face misaligned workflows. So different teams understand the process in their own ways, leading to inefficiencies and confusion. On the top of that, I've seen delays in setting up the IT infrastructures, the systems and tools, which can stop progress right at the start. These challenges highlight why a strong mobilization plan is essential to keep things on track. Yep, absolutely. Those challenges, they are things that we need to solve early. And a solid mobilization plan in place can help us to do that. So what are the key tasks that need to be addressed to get that mobilization plan right? Let's start with the first core task, testing and configuring the common data environment. This step ensures that the system is fully functional and ready for the use by all the teams. For example, you need to define how data will be shared and the permissions will be managed and workflows will operate. A well-tested common data environment demonstrates to the appointing party that your team is organized and ready to collaborate seamlessly from day one. Exactly, Bhati. The next key task is setting up resources, including software and hardware. This involves ensuring that all the tools, IT infrastructure and devices required for the project are ready to go. Imagine showing up to a construction site without the right tools. It's the same with mobilization. Having your resources defined and in place shows the appointing party that your team is prepared and it will be ready to deliver efficiently. Finally, we have training and team development. This is where you make sure that every team member understands their role and responsibilities, as well as the tools and processes they will be using. A team that's well-trained and aligned on the plan gives the appointing party confidence that the project will be executed without any unnecessary delays. Using Planoly, the prospective lead appointed party can easily structure and submit their mobilization plan. And the templates out of the box help to outline the critical steps like configuring the common data environment, setting up the resources such as hardware and software, and also planning the team's training sessions that are required. This ensures that the appointing party sees a clear and actionable strategy for mobilizing the project effectively. And hopefully it gives them confidence that the team is prepared to hit the ground running. So remember, don't plan late. Plan early. With Planoly.